Baylor actually had a very unique role in the fact that it impacted all stages of the human microbiome uh, study, um, from the recruitment and actually the study design itself to the recruitment of subjects, um, the, the screening of subjects, the recruitment of subjects, the sampling of subjects, the harvesting of nucleic acids from these samples, the sequencing and the analysis of these samples, um, and, and finally it was the data that are leading to these, these papers that are being published. From Baylor's standpoint, the Human Microbiome Project led to uh, the creation of the Alkex Center for Metagenomics and Microbiome Research, uh, also due, obviously in part to a, a generous contribution by the Alkex Foundation. Um, this center is, has, um, has been created to uh, in, enable further microbiome studies with this rich clinical community that we have in the Texas Medical Center, and as such, we have now over 60 different projects in microbiome research that have, that have begun since the HMP started. Um, more than two-thirds of those projects involve investigators from the Texas Medical Center. Um, we are recruiting new scientists. Uh, we are uh, testing new technologies, uh, evolving methodologies to be able to sample not only the bacteria, but the viruses and fungi and other microbial eukaryotes that are associated with the human microbiome. Um, we're using the same technologies to be able to create new diagnostics or develop new diagnostics for diseases for which the current diagnostics are substandard or for which there is no diagnostic at this point. Um, we're trying to d discover new causes or new underlying, uh, uh, underlying agents that uh, are responsible for diseases where no known etiology has been determined. Um, and. Uh, and we're also recruiting new faculty that um, are going to be recruited to, part to join in these efforts um, for years to come.